so hi guys in this video we are going to learn about a very commonly asked and very basic question what is the difference between javascript and node.js if you are learning web development it is so much important to have the proper understanding about the differences between javascript and node.js by the end of this video i promise you this logic will clear out your proper understanding between both of them okay so be cautious and be attentive at this point whatever i have understood i will be sharing all those logics with you okay javascript ek programming language hum sabhi ko pata hai high level programming language hai jo ki bahut hi zyada easy hai as compared to c c++ java web development pe sabse zyada use hota hai javascript programming language node js kya hai node js is basically an environment which is used to run javascript मतलब अगर आप जावास्क्रिप्ट सीख रहे हो जावास्क्रिप्ट को आपको रन करना पड़ेगा तो यू हैव टू वेज टू रन जावास्क्रिप्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज आइदर क्रिएट एन एच टी एम एल फाइल एंड इन साइड दिस फाइल जस्ट राइट स्क्रिप्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट जस्ट राइट कंसोल लॉग हेलो वर्ल्ड उसके बाद क्या होगा अगर आप डिरेक्टली अगर आप यहाँ पे रन के इस बटन पे अगर आप क्लिक करोगे यू विल बी गेटिंग दिस एरर सो फॉर दैट वॉट यू नीड टू डू यहाँ पे जो गो लाइव सर्वर है जस्ट क्लिक ऑन दैट एंड आफ्टर दैट क्लिक ऑन इंस्पेक्ट एंड यू विल बी एबल टू फाइंड हेलो वर्ल्ड ओवर हेयर सो यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ लॉन्ग दिस प्रोसेस इज नाउ इन ऑर्डर टू टैकल दैट नोट जेस टू बर्थ इन दिस अर्थ इट इज नॉट लाइक नोट जेस एंड जावा स्क्रिप्ट आर सेपरेट लैंग्वेजेस नोट जेस इज बेसिकली एन एनवायरमेंट which is created to run javascript inside the computer terminal that is the first difference now you actually don't need to run it inside this console section all you need to do is just to create a javascript file over here and after that just click on this run icon and you will be able to see hello world now how have i done it just go and install node js however i have made one full video on node js in 50 minute you will be able to learn node js properly so if you just go to this download section you will be able to see like install it msi installer and this msi installer will get started all you need to do is just to install node js inside your terminal you will be able to run javascript inside your terminal so don't get confused at this point so let's move on to our second difference so developers uses javascript in order to do the dom manipulation stuff dom is document object model uh, if you just click on this thing you will see an opening window over here in the sidebar that means accessing a button that means creating element accessing a particular element all these things are dom manipulation technique again you really need to know about the basics of javascript and the second difference is it is actually used to create a server by using js now node js is basically used to do the server creation part actually it is used in backend that is for for backend coding you will be sending request from the web page to that server and in exchange that server will respond you will be sending request okay and in exchange this server will respond so both of them are actually connected you really need to have a solid understanding about server creation process so node js provides multiple modules okay node js provides multiple modules like you have http module you have fs module path module all this comes after you have the proper understanding about javascript you actually don't need to worry about it and one of them is http module by using that you will be able to create your server now there is now there is another way like using express express js is basically a framework of javascript and in node js you will be using express in order to create server so basically it is nothing it is just like using javascript here also it is basically an environment working inside this environment so this is the third difference that is while working with api javascript is used to access the api information by requesting to the server whenever you will be working with api then whatever information that server will hold about that api if you want to access those information from the server you need to send a request that means assume that this is the user this blue color this sky blue color box this is the web page this user represents you me or the person who is using that web page 
now for accessing the that api information you will be using fetch api then you will be using javascript in order to access the information provided inside that api now how it actually works basically an api contains a url and you need to access that url by just typing fetch api let me make it bigger inside this fetch you will be getting access to http http then slash so by using this http url you will be able to access to the json file format after accessing the json file format you will be able to use that json file format to access that api information and after that you will be able to use that api information for your front-end web development project now what is the role of node.js over here here is a very big question what is the role of node.js over here by using node.js you will be able to create this server that means this server okay where you will be sending the request this server you will be able to create this server by using node.js and also you will be able to create the api so how you will be able to create that api javascript only by using javascript you will be able to create you will be able to create api inside node.js it is just like node.js is the environment and inside this and inside this node.js environment you will be able to create the server and the api okay the server will respond it to the user to the web page and how you will be able to make those apis by using express.js and this is how this entire process works these are some of the important differences that you must know about javascript and node.js so that is it thank you so much for watching this video if you love this video then make sure you like and subscribe hit that bell icon for getting more and more important video updates and i will see you next time